Even in this age of mobile phones and consoles, PC gaming is still incredibly popular. While it's a given that you'll need launchers like Steam, Uplay, the Epic Game Store launcher, and so on to play games, what are some free applications that are worth having? Let's take a look at 14 of the best free apps for your gaming PC. While Discord has been the default service for messaging, voice calls and whatnot, especially thanks to its seamless integration with games, it offers so much more. Servers allow for easily organizing communities, which can be further divided into channels for voice chat between specific groups. Discord's popularity also makes it a great way to find various groups for different games and activities, whether it's organizing a raid group in Destiny 2 or just chilling in Overwatch. Gaming for long hours on a PC can take a toll on your eyes, so it's good to have programs like Flux. It automatically adjusts the color temperature of your display based on location and time of day to help reduce eye strain. As day turns to night, it'll gradually shift to a warmer color and then back when the sun rises, though you can also invert times if you work during the night. You can also choose from a variety of presets or adjust color temperature manually based on your needs. For a long time, Nexus Mod Manager was the go-to choice for modding games like The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, but it's since fallen by the wayside due to various issues. In the aftermath, Vortex has emerged as a great alternative due to its ease of use, different mod profiles, and auto-sorting system to make resolving mod conflicts that much easier. Given how it's now the officially supported mod manager by Nexus Mods, it's well worth jumping into for first-time users. Discord may be the best messaging service for those just jumping in, but for more advanced users, TeamSpeak comes highly recommended. Not only does it offer some of the best voice quality out there, but there are more options for permissions, lots more customization for the program itself, and the ability to choose your network and servers to host on. It's also fairly resource light for those with less powerful setups. While apps such as NVIDIA Shadowplay are good for recording footage and short gameplay clips, streamers often go for OBS Studio. It supports a number of different codecs and provides extensive control over audio mixing, transitions, and various sources of media. You can even easily utilize features like chroma keying without much hassle and go into more advanced studio mode for seamlessly transitioning between active and inactive scenes. You ever feel like the amount of free space on your system has been dwindling? CCleaner is the software to have. Along with uninstalling programs, it can clean up any files left behind by programs, whether it's your browsing history and cookies or system cache data. It's also useful for removing Windows registry files that aren't needed, system restore points, and much more. If you truly want to maximize the available space in your system, then CCleaner is a must. The Xbox app is a given for console owners just for being able to message friends through live, watch DVR clips, and view achievements. However, as Xbox Game Pass for PC picked up momentum, a dedicated Xbox app for the platform was released. This helps manage your library of games, including Xbox Game Pass titles, chat with friends via messages and voice, and even integrates with the Game Bar, which can also be used for gauging performance. Those with Game Pass can even roll the die with a surprise me function and pick out a random game to try. Rebinding keys can vary from game to game, so if you've ever found a specific title lacking the option, then Key Tweak is worth checking out. It allows for remapping keys easily and can disable certain keys if they stop working. Though not the most feature-packed free app, it's straightforward and easy to use without much hassle. If you want to force borderless full screen for any game without any hangups, borderless gaming is the ticket. Though it has a paid version on Steam, it's still available as a free open source application on GitHub. Along with improved performance for a lot of titles, it also allows for easy alt tabbing to do something else without worrying about crashes. It also doesn't hurt that the system requirements are incredibly low. The sheer range of broadcasts available is massive as are the communities to interact. While it may take some time to find your streamer of choice, the sheer number of content creators available, be it for variety or dedicated games, is unmatched. There are also way more emotes to use, which becomes more important than you may think over time. In an age where streaming and cloud gaming are gaining popularity, Parsec is somewhat behind. However, it's still very useful for remote work, allowing one to stream their desktop and use it on another device. 
This makes it good for gaming, though there are some drawbacks, especially when playing more graphically demanding games. Nevertheless, for lighter titles, it's worth trying out, especially for accessing your PC games on the go. Despite the similar names, CPU-Z and GPU-Z are actually by two different developers. The former provides details and access to your CPU from voltage to bus frequencies and can be valuable when getting into overclocking. GPU-Z serves much of the same function for one's GPU, providing details to its memory, shader frequencies, bus memory, fan speeds, and much more. If you've ever wanted to know every last detail about your graphics card, then it's very handy. Once you've got a better handle on what your GPU can do, MSI Afterburner can get you started on the actual overclocking process. You can customize GPU clock speed, frequency, and voltage along with fan speed to ring out the maximum amount of performance. If you don't want to mess with things too much, the OC scanner will judge the best possible settings for you. Along with real-time hardware and performance monitoring, fan profiles, and even video capture, MSI Afterburner is a must for power users. So if you don't want to tinker with overclocking or min-maxing your PC's performance, then Razer Cortex Game Booster provides a nice alternative. It essentially boosts games' performance by turning off any non-vital background processes and freeing up CPU and RAM. You can also use it for defragmenting game files and clearing up space. The benefits are only really visible on systems with less RAM and, while not quite the best at its myriad of functions, it's still a decent jack-of-all-trades. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.